Hello YouTube, Retro Gaming Channel here and today is a free 100 subscribers special and for this tutorial I would like to show you how you could set up and install the Windows 7 32-bit or 64-bit properly on your uh, VMware Workstation player. Now everyone wants to install it so to start up VMware double click on VMware Workstation Pro then you want to create a new virtual machine and you want VMware Workstation Pro 17 installed. Click next. And then you want to go to browse and then you want to find Windows 7 AIO SP1 ISO. And after that, click next. And now you want to choose the version of Windows to install. But for me, I'm going to choose Windows 7 Home Premium and I want to give the full name as VMware I would say VMware tutorial as well as the password which is optional And now I need to enter in the Windows product key. And then you want to give the virtual machine name as Windows 7. Click next. And then you want the size to be uh, 20 gigabytes. So for me, I'm going to go set the size recommended as 60 gigabytes. Click next. And after that, you want to go customize hardware. And I'm going to set this to stretch mode. Free stretch close click finish and then it's creating a disk and now we're just starting up in windows 7 so i'm going to unpin this because i don't want the input on when i'm installing windows 7 now many users are so glad and relieved that you've now got Windows Vista installed running some 3D accelerated games properly on your operating system. But the, for this tutorial, I'll be going through how we set up Windows 7 the same way as I did in Windows Vista. And it's copying Windows files. Now you, it's, your computer will restart several times during installation. Now, Windows 7 took away the Movie Maker on Windows Vista, but you can always get you, but you have to get your own Movie Maker, but it's not a big deal. But I wanted to tell you, Windows 7 is more friendly and more obtrusive than Windows Vista. But I do have to say, by 2012, Windows 7 then suppressed Windows XP. And it's still, the, it's been the most popular operating systems throughout the 20 teens. But Windows 8 was bad. It was designed to be used on the tablet. And it wasn't the most popular Windows operating system than Windows 8. But Windows 8.1 stability worked even better than the original Windows 8. And after Windows 8... Point one came Windows 10, which came out 10 years ago, which was in July 2015. And of course, sadly, Windows 7 support, it, Windows 10 support, Windows 7 support had officially ended in January 2020. And Windows 10 support is ending in October of 2025, which is sad news for all Windows 10 users or for retro gamers. So... Anyone who wants to continue Windows and who are unable to upgrade to Windows 10 would probably have to install Windows 7. But I'm not, I've also got the product key that I think would work properly for Windows 7 Service Pack 1. But I'm not going to explain all the detail on, no, I'm not going to explain every detail on how I set up and install how Windows 7 works properly. I'm not going to explain about the uh, product key. But what you would have to do to search for the product key is to look for it online. I 
A nice setup will continue after restarting your computer. A nice setup is preparing and it's checking for video performance. And there we are, we're on Windows 7 Home Premium now. And there we have it now, Windows 7. I would say... Properties. This is Windows 7, 32-bit RON, not 64-bit RIN. And it says, you've got 30 days left to activate, so what I now would have to do is to... And this is Windows 7 Service Pack 1 we're on now. So what I would now have to do is to activate Windows. And then you want to use an automated phone system because Windows 7. And I'm going to choose the UK. Click here. Next. Depending on which region you want, you want to choose your nearest location. I'm going to go to network and I'm going to tick treat all future networks that I connect to the public and don't ask me again and then click on home network and then checking to your network and applying settings next click finish and then we're going to go activate windows and I would once I've done the activation we'll be ready to install VMware tools now I got Windows 7 activated now so Next thing you want to do is to mount the disk onto the drive, which is go to so go to your CD-ROM drive, settings, go to Rise, use VMware tools, click OK, and then hopefully it should start the installation. There it is, yes, and it's preparing VMware tools for installation. And it's preparing to install. And now it's, we're into the installation wizard for VMware tools. Click next. I'm going to go complete. I'm going to go next. Click install. And it's copying new files. Starting services. Installing USB. Video and installing audio video driver. Removing backup files. And there you have it. You've now got VMware tools set up complete, so click finish. Yes, we'll restart. And now, one final check is to make sure VMware. Now we're going to check DXDIAG. Yes. And 3D acceleration has finally been enabled, which is a good thing now. And it's got a total approximate memory of 385 megabytes. And 3D acceleration is enabled. So now what we're going to have to do is go to screen resolution. And I'm going to customize it to uh, approximately 1920480, which I think will be the best fit for Windows 7. Click apply. Keep changes. Click OK, and I'm going to personalize this to Windows 7 Aero based, which will work better. And now, hopefully, all you, most of your 3D acceleration games should work properly for as it was in Windows Vista. And I hope you do find this tutorial very, very useful. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to test out one of the 3D acceleration games to see if it's working properly. Now we're testing out Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius for the PC. And it's perfectly working. Gotta work this time. Oh, it says the game's already in pro Yes, we're gonna test out Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. And it's working perfectly on Windows 7 32 bit, which is a good thing. I hope you do find this tutorial very, very useful. And I'm glad this is working perfectly. And I might want to use Windows 7 VMware Player for video games when I do 3D accelerated games. So I hope you do find this tutorial very, very useful. And I hope you enjoyed it. So if you have any questions, please leave your comments below and like your videos. And please remember to subscribe to my channel. And I hope this retro gaming channel tutorial is very, very useful. 
and I will see you again for more future t- tutorials. And, and I'll see you again for more future tutorials. Goodbye.